Welcome to a video about what's new in Enterprise Vault 11. Enterprise Vault 11 brings many new features and benefits to users of the archiving platform. We can see a list of these new features on this slide. In this short video I want to give you an overview of some of the most important changes, and in future videos we'll dig into them in some more detail, including how to configure and administer the usage of them. In this video we'll talk about Enterprise Vault Search, and the new IMAP features. And finally, something for storage guys, a new storage queue and configurable safety copy options. For many releases of Enterprise Vault, the capabilities of searching for archived items has not really been updated. Since around Enterprise Vault 8, the methods of searching have largely been the same. These methods are integrated search, browser search, archive explorer, and then perhaps a little bit lesser used is advanced browser search and finally virtual vault searching. Let's go through them. Integrated search in Outlook allows you to do simple searches against archived emails. A bit more advanced and controlled is browser search as we'll see next. Browser search lets you search based on specific parts of an archived email and you can control the number of results which are returned. So the parts of an email or an archived item that you can search for are things like the subject of an archived item, the author, or the content, the date that it was sent or received, or extended things like a particular retention category or a file extension. Some people like the tree view or structured approach, like in their mailbox. You can see this with Archive Explorer, as we'll see next. The tree view for many people is a big advantage, but it lacks sophisticated search capabilities and looks a bit dated. You can do quite complicated searching in the lesser known advanced browser search, as we'll see on the next slide. Advanced browser search is very powerful and can be used to query extensively against an archive and can even be used to return other indexed attributes in the results. Finally, we see on the next slide Virtual Vault Searching. Virtual Vault Searching is great, but only searches on the metadata related to archived items, not the full content of the archived items. So, those are the traditional ways and the lesser used ways of searching within Enterprise Vault. As you can see, there's a wide variety of ways to search. But that's all changing. Let's see how. The new Enterprise Vault search aims to address many of the old criticisms and provide an all-new cross-platform search capability. One of the really good new features of the new search interface is that it can handle all the different Enterprise Vault archive types and it can handle archives with thousands and thousands of folders. Both of these were problems with previous search mechanisms. Here we see the main search screen with annotation on it. Note this was taken from the beta guide about this feature. It shows many of the great aspects of the new interface, including how familiar it looks with the tree view hierarchical structure, and of course it looks very modern and up to date. On this screenshot we see some of the power of the searching possibilities with the new feature. You can see items that are shown in the results with the search terms highlighted. We'll cover these ways of enabling search in a future video, but for now be aware that there is a new search policy and it can be given to users by provisioning groups. This allows you to have different search experiences for some users and even to roll out the features to the organization as training is given. Alternatively, if this is an upgrade from a previous version of Enterprise Vault, the new search interface can be enabled for a whole EV site. If it's a clean install of EV11, then the new search interface is automatically available to everybody. One of the things that is often leveled as a criticism of the user experience of Enterprise Vault is that it's all very Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Outlook centric. Other browsers, other devices, other operating systems don't often get a look in. That too is all about to change. Let's see how. This is a great new feature with a bit of an old-fashioned name. Essentially, this is giving access to an archive just as though it's a mailbox, 
as we'll see in the screenshots on the following slides. It is intuitive for users to access this feature as they can do all the normal things like archive items, refile items, reply to them, forward them and so on. The great thing is that the IMAP protocol which underpins this feature is available on just about every email client on just about every device and every operating system. Let's look at a couple of screenshots. As we can see here, the IMAP feature has been enabled and an archive added to this Mac client. Finally, a virtual vault-like experience for Mac users. As we can see here, it's even possible to set this feature up on an iPad. Easy access now to archive data for mobile users. Much like the new search feature, this is configured by a policy and follows the provisioning ethos that we're used to in Enterprise Vault. We'll go into more details on this in a future video. One of the other new features of Enterprise Vault 11 relates to storage, and we'll see what that's about now. This is a new way of handling safety copies with Enterprise Vault. As we know, these are to ensure that the files that are archived are truly secured before being removed or otherwise processed in the source location. But in the past, these pending items have always still taken up space until a full backup has been done. Now it's possible to change that with the new features here. It is worth remembering though that this new storage queue will take up additional disk space. As can be seen in the screenshot on this slide, the new storage queue and options for safety copy storage are on the properties of each storage service in the environment and on the properties of the vault store. Again, we'll cover these in slightly more detail in a future video. In summary, we've seen how Enterprise Vault 11 has been announced with these new features and we'll be discussing some of the other features in the next video. We've seen what they might mean for you as an Enterprise Vault administrator and to end users. Will you be upgrading soon? I hope that giving you a taste of the new features in EV11 is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.